Android Lollipop has finally arrived. Well, sort of. I'm Joe Levi with Pocket Now. Let's go hands on with the latest preview release of Android Lollipop. So as we can see here, this is Android version 5.0 Lollipop running on my Nexus 5. It's build number LPX13D, as in Delta. So what's new? Obviously, we've got all the really cool animations and whatnot that we had in the past. But let's look at some other things. So we've got the uh, revisited look at some of the icons, the iconography and whatnot. Really neat scrolls, very fluid. Battery life on this has been pretty good. You'll notice I've got this interesting little star icon up here in my notification bar. What that is, I had some people trying to contact me and I decided, you know what? I wanna just silence some of those things while I do this video, you know, so I'm not interrupted in the middle of shooting. Well, what I did was uh, came in here and adjusted my volume down until I get to vibrate and you can see here, I can now turn all of my notifications down or none for 54 minutes. I've already set this a little bit or just get priority alerts. So no alerts, priority alerts or all alerts coming through. And then I could set that indefinitely or for uh, some amount of time. I could set this overnight if I wanted to. So, hey, go to bed for eight hours. There you go. That should probably be a little bit more than that, like 10 or 12. But we might be able to see some of that in the future. There are some of these where you can set the uh, interruptions for messages, calls, not calls, you know, whatever you want in here. The downtime for priority interruptions, you can set those. So this is kind of like quiet hours. Very nice, I like it a lot, and it uh, it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to. You can see I haven't configured anything in here, but I definitely will going forward. Let's go back home. You'll notice that uh, Google Now has some uh, interesting headlines up here kind of dividing up your news into different blocks. So a nice way that it's done that. A lot of other things have stayed the same, but one thing that I really like, I can't show you right here. I'm gonna have to throw some screenshots up here. I haven't gone in and configured anything, okay? What I did when I went through and set this up, it went and grabbed all of my layouts, all of my icons, all of everything down here, in the uh, the folders, it did that for me, but it had little grayed out areas where you know the apps weren't installed yet. Ultimately, once they did get installed, then they came up and had some little configurations that I had to go through to adjust the settings of the various widgets and whatnot. But I mean, look at that, it's, it's just amazing. It carried over all of my settings. One thing I didn't do that I wish I could have, when I set this up, it was, I had to wipe, it was a fresh install but it asked me during setup, hey, if you're coming from a new phone, hold your old phone up to the back and through NFC, it could automate that setup process. So making it very, very easy. Let's take a quick jump into some of our settings. A one finger pull down shows you notifications that you can swipe away and then persistent notifications that you can't. If you want to get more information, you can pull down again or if you want to, you can pull with two fingers to get right into that. To go into your quick toggles, you're just right there. We can turn our flashlight on and off. We can go into the deeper settings. That will bring this up where you can come in here and modify Wi-Fi, modify Bluetooth, data usage, and more. What I really wanna show you though is right down here inside security. Now, I've got a pin lock set up right now. It's set to automatically lock my device after 30 seconds after it's gone to sleep, except when it's unlocked by Smart Lock. So Smart Lock over here, there are some things that you can do. I'm gonna put my uh, pin in off camera. If I can get it right. Now you'll notice I've got some devices in here, trusted devices and then a trusted face. This is your biometrics. So all of you Apple fans out there that have the touch to unlock with the touch ID, Android can do the same thing, but it uses your face. It used to be called face unlock, but right now it's called trusted face and I do have that enabled. Trusted devices now are any Bluetooth or NFC devices that you want to add in here. So I've got my Moto 360 that I'm wearing on my wrist right now. And because that is there and connected, 
my device is never going to lock. Now, if my device walks away and the two devices are no longer connected to one another at that point, then that trusted device connection isn't there. And to be able to access my phone, you're going to have to put in the pin to get into it. You notice I've got other things down here. I've got my LG headset as well, which I have turned off. I'm wearing that around my neck, but I wanted to show you what it looks like. So if I've got my Bluetooth headset on right there, I can automatically unlock and bypass that, uh, that lock screen. I still have to swipe to unlock, but I don't have to put in the pin or a password if I wanted to do that. We can add any trusted device that's Bluetooth or NFC. I haven't played with NFC yet, so make sure you stay tuned. We'll get some of that out, uh, probably in an upcoming article. But all you would do is uh, enable NFC and then set up your NFC devices. Really kind of cool. Uh, what else do you want to see? It's pretty much what we've been through before, just with smoother animations and some more interesting features and functionality that we're going to dig into as the days go by. There's something else that you think is new in Android Lollipop that wasn't in a previous version of Android L, one of the preview editions. Make sure you let us know that down in the comments along with what your favorite new feature is. So that's a quick look at the latest preview release of Android Lollipop version 5.0 running on the Nexus 5. If you liked what you saw here, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. If you wanna see what the final version looks like, along with other stuff like the Nexus 6, Nexus 9, and other cool things from Pocket Now, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. For Pocket Now, showing off Lollipop, I'm Joe Levi. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.